Hi everyone and welcome to my channel Miss Catalina. Okay so today I wanted to um, just very briefly just talk about um, this thing about why a lot of us uh, transgender women go into the sex industry. Um, now the reason I'm doing this clip is because there's been a lot of talk and a lot of people, cisgender people obviously, talking and saying why don't we transgender women just get a normal nine to five to job, nine to five job. You know, we've got the skills, we're well presented, you know, saying, you know, why can't you get a normal job? So what if you're trans, you know, I think that's where she was coming from. But she doesn't realize that a lot of us are judged because of that. You know I mean, look, if she was hired, going to hire me, she knew that I was trans, be no issue. But we're talking about the majority of, you know, industries in Australia that are run and owned by, you know, men and white men and um, cisgender men, white. So a lot of us, I have experienced myself, but I also know a lot of girls who have suffered more than I did and had more experience than I have in being discriminated because they are trans, you know. Um, and I know a lot of us all want to have a nine to five job, you know. Most of my friends have, but there's a, a bulk of people that I do know that can't get work because they are trans. Um, or gen um, also, I must mention trans and or uh, gender diverse, you know. Um, so it has nothing to do with um, us not actually looking or us not wanting to. Um, it's all to do with we've been, we've been given the no, you know, at the front door. So in saying that, there was a guy on Dr. Phil who actually went on and said, and it was kind of almost like lettering my community and saying, you know, I don't understand why these trans women don't get a job. You know, they're well presented, they can work, blah, 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 blah. But, you know, do you know any of these trans people that have actually tried? Majority of us have all tried over and over and over and over and over again. And when, and I think this is probably the same with anybody else who, when you try and look for work, here and there, you try and try and try, knowing that you are so skilled and well educated, you got the experience, only to be told, no, 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 no. What do you mean to do when you've got bills that you've got to pay? You have to survive, you know? Um, or you probably have to support, other, you know, family members or whatever you need to do, you know? So when there's no other option, you think of, outside of that box and and it could be owning your own business which i know a lot of uh, some of my trans friends um have their own business um uh and then yeah so thinking outside of the box owning your own business um and thinking outside the box includes going into the sex trade and that's not unfortunate that is just what it is because um, I, I don't want to disrespect or downgrade you know anyone in the sex industry you know because this is not about them it is about those who do not want to go into that industry and feel that they are forced you know feel like they, they, they have no choice but to do it in order to survive you know for me you know having to you know I have my fair share of being discriminated you know right in front of me um but I'm able to go on, like I'm a survivor. Um, I have the strong audacity to be fearless, um, to know that if this is not gonna work, I'm gonna try this and then I'll keep going, I'll keep going and go. I guess because I do know my self-worth and it doesn't matter who you are, I think you have to know your self-worth and say, well, you know, this is what I got and be confident. This is what I got. This is what I can provide, you know, and um, 
you know that's that's all I can say from my experience is that um, I, I just I'm just fearless when it comes to job hunting you know it's like okay you said no I'm gonna keep trying and keep trying and keep trying and so I have been quite successful in getting job interviews and getting the job the problem for me is how another different show is when I actually get the job when I'm in the job things change because they find out that I'm trans or um, I give out this sense of thing where I let people walk all over me because people will see me people, because for me my, my experience people do know that I'm trans whether I say it or not the thing is they see me as weak so or they see me as so weak that no one's going to care if I if they pick on me and if I get bullied and say something late because to them it's like oh well you know th that's one reason that, I mean, that's one experience I've had but there's different other experiences that I've had that's just one of them um yes yeah, so that's basically it that I wanted to talk about and so I hope people understand the reasons why trans and gender diverse um folks unable to get work it's not because we're lazy or anything like that a lot of us um are yes are well educated well experienced but you know sometimes i just think oh it's too bad those companies like for me it's like too bad well you missed out you know on a good employer because i am my work ethics are like from here like all the way up to the heavens like i work overtime and not get paid for it and I don't expect to get paid for it because I want to prove to you know to my employers that I'm a good worker I'm loyal um you know I provide good quality work and everybody knows that like people who know me know that I do work over time and not get paid for it because I want to make sure everything gets done and it was ready by the next day it's smoother for everybody it's not because I want to get my work done it's in order that you know we're the whole work environment where you know if I'm in a team making sure that you know I take some pressure off the next day for all of us you know um yeah so that's it thank you for watching I hope um that helps explains why a lot of us um aren't able to find work and I hope you keep an open mind all right thank you for watching everyone take care bye